normally when they put nitrogen in, they use it as a selling point, uh, like they're doing you a favor, and usually they, they increase the cost. Uh, but I'm not into the whole nitrogen thing. It is a waste of money. Hello everyone, there it is. I've been telling you for some time that I was looking to get a trailer and I finally did. So here it is, I'll give you a little bit of a walk around and overview and tell you what I got. Uh, first off, this is a six by 10 trailer. So that means it is six feet wide and 10 feet long. And by the way, uh, as far as the length is concerned, uh, you can tell that this has a V nose. So uh, the 10 feet long does not include the V nose section. So that's an additional two feet up to the very tip of the V. So when they talk about uh, the 10 feet, uh, they're talking about really the square portion that would begin right there and go all the way to the back. So one of the reasons why I chose a six foot by 10 foot was because I wanted the additional height. Initially, I would have been okay with a five by eight trailer, but the inside height on a five by eight was just too short. And I wanted to be able to just ride my motorcycle right up inside and not have to hunch over and be able to stand up when I'm in the inside of the trailer as well. So anyway, that's why I got that. So I'll just walk around real quickly just to give you an idea of what you're looking at. And I will mention right up front here, as you can see on the tire, uh, the valve stem cap is green. Normally that would indicate nitrogen uh, but I looked in the manual that came with the trailer and I couldn't see anything uh, that indicates that they did put nitrogen in it. Um, and maybe they did, they just don't advertise it as such. I also looked on the website. Uh, but either way, I think that's what's supposed to mean unless they're trying to fool people and that it has nitrogen. Normally when they put nitrogen in, they use it as a selling point, uh, like they're doing you a favor and usually they, they increase the cost. Uh, but I'm not into the whole nitrogen thing. It is a waste of money. In fact, there was a test that Consumer Reports did that over the course of one year, tires filled with air only lost one PSI more than the tires filled with nitrogen. So not worth the money for me. Uh, this right here is an LED. All of the lights are LED. You've got one back here. And there's another one up front. All right, I'll start up front and talk about a few of the features. Number one, you can see it has the sand plate on the bottom of the jack, so that comes standard with these trailers. Uh, number two, you can see my lock that I already have in place. And uh, I know a lot of you guys were talking about how to lock this thing up, but uh, that's the kind that I use, so I don't have to worry about anybody trying to cut that one off. The connection, again, is uh, four pin, four flat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, instead of seven, uh, because this is a single axle trailer, uh, which means it does not have trailer brakes, so uh, no need for a seven pin connector. Okay, coming around here, you can see the side door. It has the RV type uh, flush handle, and it also has a deadbolt. As you can see here, there's the deadbolt lever. All right, coming inside, you can see it has a roof vent. Looking towards the rear, you can see that it has the spring just like you would find in your home garage. And that is for the spring assist when you're raising the ramp door back up. So, and I will show you that in just a little bit. It has a light. Uh, it's not going to be powered on right now because it's not connected to the vehicle. Now, one of the things I want to mention about the height, I mentioned earlier that I liked uh, the, the additional height of the six by 10 trailer. Uh, they advertised this as being six foot three, but that's all the way to the top of the roof. It doesn't include these members right here, which is about one inch. So it's really six feet, two inches to this portion here, six foot three, all the way up. So somebody six foot two and taller is going to uh, struggle with the, the ceiling getting in the way. Uh, but for me it's fine so and i also want to mention from the top of the ramp when this is open from the top of the ramp to the top of the opening of the door coming in is five feet nine inches looking at the front of the trailer up in the v section 
I have the spare tire and I actually had the dealer add that. It wasn't anything that came with the trailer. So there were two things that I had the dealer add on. Number one was include the spare tire and mount it up on the, the nose, uh, the V portion, so that way I have access to it in the event that I break down. I can get to it by just opening up the side door and not having to open up the ramp. All right, inside you can also see that there are four D rings, two up front and two in the rear. And as I've mentioned in another video, I hope to never use them because I want to secure my motorcycles without straps. And I will show you how I'm going to do that in a future video. I will say I am going to do two things to this. Uh, between now and my next video I'm going to paint the walls probably paint the walls the same color as the trailer and the floor I'm going to put down that material that a lot of people uh, put on their garage floors you know the paint and the specs uh, to give it some traction so I will put that down before I even install the pit bull restraint system uh, but I'll show you that when it's all complete okay and as you can see right here the other thing that I had the dealer add were the stabilizer jacks. I've got one down now just so you can see what it looks like. I'll get a different angle. And the other side it's up and out of the way you can't even see it. So and the reason why I got the stabilizer jacks were because of if I want to load my motorcycle right now as it is not being connected to the vehicle uh, I can put the stabilizer jacks down and ride the motorcycle up the ramp without it being connected to a vehicle. All that weight back here is going to pivot uh, again because mostly it's just a single axle uh, that will pivot and cause all kinds of problems. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. The handle over here on the right side. Again, it's spring assisted, so it does take a little bit of an effort to pull it down because the spring is basically creating a lot of resistance. All right, there's what it looks like. It also has the flap extension, which I will unfold. And it has the piano hinge all the way across. And as you can see, it does not leave much of a lip once that uh, flap extension is out there. So it's basically a smooth uh, ride up the ramp. So if you didn't have it, you would have several inches here that you would be trying to jump up over. So here's kind of a look from the rear, moving forward. And like I said, from the top of the ramp right here to this piece right there is five feet, nine inches. So more than enough room uh, to ride the motorcycle right up there without hitting my head. All right, probably the most burning question that everybody has at this point was how much did I pay for it? And like I said, I had the dealer add two things, the spare tire and the stabilizer jacks. So even after including those two items, I paid out the door $3,800. So and that includes tax and everything. So I feel like that was a pretty good deal because right now trailers are hard to find. There's still a lot of backlog because of COVID and if i wanted any other trailer or, and uh, or, or wanted to order one the the backlog was upwards of about three months in one case four months so i called every dealer around and was lucky that they got this one in stock uh, right around the time i started uh, looking for trailers so uh, i'm pretty happy with what i have uh, i'm more into function than form so i know a lot of guys would go crazy on the inside uh, making uh, the inside look really really nice putting up different types of uh, wall material and even floor maybe rubber floors or whatever uh, but I'm not going to go that route so uh, again it's more function over form for me uh, to get the bike uh, where I need to go if in need of maintenance or if I'm just going to take a weekend trip somewhere and want to get the bike out in the area where I'm going to be staying well that's all I have for this video if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.